Hi everyone, Carrie KH here. In my personal opinion, I think it's always cool when other people enjoy my personal passion projects enough to want to make derivative works based off of those projects. So back in September, I made a community post on my Carrie KH YouTube channel talking about my thoughts on this subject. Unfortunately, I made the community post six whole paragraphs long, and while most commenters were pretty supportive and understanding of that, there were also quite a few people who felt like it was just too big of a wall of text to read, and I wanted this message to be as digestible as possible. So I figured I'd take this time to read that message out loud for you to listen to. Here goes. Hello everyone, I just wanted to make this as clear as possible. I am always cool with you guys creating your own versions of my games and projects. Go for it! Try to make Elemental 4, or Evolvio 2, or Virus Simulator 2 on your own. The whole reason I share these projects is because I think they're fun, and the internet's way of innovating and modifying cool projects is always awesome to watch. So don't worry about any intellectual property laws, or getting on my bad side by stealing from me. If anything, derivative works of any of my projects are honestly flattering that you think my concept is worth investing your time in. Earlier today, I wrote this super long essay about why I didn't think it was fair that recreational game development video creators, RGDVC for short, <laughs> are held to this expectation that every new project is constantly maintained, whereas every other video genre, like makeup gurus, or family vloggers, or trick shotters, can just upload a video and be done with it. I didn't like how people were calling me a scam artist because my 2011 Flash games no longer worked, or a traitor who had betrayed their childhood, or they'd make live counter after live counter of how much time passed since my last update to some obscure project. But I decided that essay was too boring and whiny, and the people who harass me would do that regardless. Ranting about negativity often just spreads more negativity, so I won't post it. However, here was the main idea. <clears throat> Coding projects online is like this. I'm planting a new tree every few weeks. While they're still the weakest tree, I will water them with as much care as they need. But once they can live a life of their own, I will move on to the next tree. That way, I get the opportunity to plant as many trees as possible, with the finite time I have left on this planet, which is maybe 50 years. This is the strategy I prefer. I don't want to spend my time perfecting a single idea, because then I'd still be focused on my first game ever, Triangular Rush Hour, and then BFDI and Scale of the Universe would never exist in the first place. Instead, I'd rather get as many ideas from inside my head to outside it as possible. Now if there is a growing community surrounding one of these projects, that means that, that there's both growing demand for that project, but there's also a growing number of creative people in that community who can help satisfy that demand with their own creations, not just me. In theory, the two should grow proportionally to each other. Now although nobody can exactly replace the original creator, especially in lore-heavy projects, they can at least keep the community self-sustainable, even if the creator vanishes. I know this sounds kinda like a giant cop-out to avoid being held responsible for bugs, and perhaps that's partly true. Oops, that's embarrassing. But since there's one of me and half a million of you, I'm just hoping that the creative juices, skills, and attention can be spread over everyone a little more equally. For example, in the video description of my Loopover video, I linked to you slash Janice Pritzkow's version of Loopover instead of my own, because I think that their version of Loopover is cleaner than mine. I did the same thing for Twow Spreadsheets or the Stick Figure Poser. This is one of the reasons I'm so grateful that I have an audience with skills like that. You can fill in the gaps that I don't know how to. But I hope that means that the burden of producing the highest standard quality across all my projects, all 260 of them or whatever, is not completely on me. I'll be the trunk that holds the tree in place, and you guys can be the leaves and flowers that reach ever higher. Ew, that sounds poetic. So that means I gotta stop typing soon. Anyway, thanks for reading, and thanks for supporting my stuff in general. This is Carrie peacing out! Yeah, so that was my community post, read aloud so you can listen to it. 